Shabbat Shalom. I'll tell you what's going to be happening during the rest of this tribulation. And yes, we are in the tribulation. We've been in the tribulation since Christ came. He said in the world, you'll have tribulation. But be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. And he has not left us or forsaken us. And we have ruled with him a thousand years and built universities and schools. And Satan is loose now, deceiving the nations. No, we don't have people ruling with Christ after he comes. I don't believe that theology at all that's taught in the uh, seminaries, but I digress. Uh, the people that will lose their minds first are the control freaks who are used to being on a regimented, regularly programmed world with uh, the regular, you know, um, dictates of what they do. And when they realize that we've been hijacked by the government and betrayed, they're going to lose their minds first. All unsaved people will, uh, addicts, um, anyone who's not with the Lord is going to lose their equilibrium. So you have to be focused on Christ in the tribulation to persevere and in patience possess your soul. That there is just another benefit of having been saved and redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I'm going to turn this around. I'm a little camera shy. And I'm in my lazy chair like I always am on the Sabbath. But anyways, um, I just wanted to say, yes, there's a lot of news coming out all the time. One is birds were all dying in Indiana, Pennsylvania, and some of those contiguous states I can't recall. Sometime after. It was post for the July. It might have been something in the fireworks. Our regular jet streams and weather is all screwed up. And I believe that's due to Harp and the other evil invention, uh, CERN, uh, that the Satanists have created. And I do believe that we will be going, uh, the tribulation will ramp up. In the end, becomes great tribulation. And then, after we're taken, is the bulls of wrath on the seventh seal. That's the wrath. That's different from the tribulation. We're not here for the wrath. The wrath is the seventh seal. I did a video on this. It's called um, Matthew 24 parallel with Revelation 6 and 7. Uh, Matthew 24 timeline is what it's entitled at the beginning. It's kind of a long title. It's under one of my other channels I cannot access anymore. So um, keep on persevering. Realize we have a Father in Heaven who provides and He is able to protect and do miracles in these last days. He's not a God to uh, not trust, and uh, it's better to trust in him than to put confidence in princes. I've uh, got a buyer, I think. Uh, oh, he did not give me a conventional, regular North Carolina sales and purchase agreement or a written offer but I do believe him and I do trust him but I still haven't heard back and I'm going to check my email after I do this video I'm hoping it's for real but the Lord told me to move and he doesn't tell us to do something and not provide the way so I believe it's going to happen and I'm looking forward to a change. I don't know where I'll end up at, but I know it will be where he wants me. Because I have learned through all my experiences and trials to trust him and to put things into prayer. Not just make decisions on a whim or on instinct or um, your own judgment. Because his ways are higher than our ways. 
And I know that uh, it's the Sabbath. Maybe I shouldn't be making a video. But um, I just felt led to say that things are ramping up. And um, they're saying the COVID test was not um, accurate. It tested basically for the common cold, which everyone has that. I don't know why I tasted negative twice, if, if that was what the test is. So there's so many discrepancies and so much confusion. But I do know four out of five women that are pregnant are miscarrying, according to the New England Journal of Medicine. I do know there's a lot of reporting of um, heavy menstruation and uh, heart inflammation and uh, heart attacks after getting the shot and death which they are covering up so keep your head up keep focused and uh, i pray you all have a, a blessed day and keep looking up